I stand to be correct. I will still insist that what we mostly practice and talk about online, about practicing um, organic farming, is really not organic farming, but a kind of semi-organic farming in Nigeria. The Nigerian farmer and its citizens are not fully ready for full organic farming system. Work with me as I tell you about organic and semi-organic farming. What's up my people? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life of a Farmer, Love, where we discuss farming in details. I remain your loyal boy, Ishokri of you can call me Ovorons. And if this is your first time, stay true and you will enjoy every information. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, and drop your questions in the comment section. To all my new and old subscribers, I love and cherish you. You are the best. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Before I go into this, let me tell you what you will expect from this video. On this um, episode, I will discuss why your herbal or organic medicines are not working for you and also when you should start your organic medicine or herbal medicine then thirdly signs that your beds have fully developed immunity and they are responding to your organic treatment or medication then how to see, you will see the results and how you can know that your beds are fully organic and the last one the rule in practicing organic farming if you want to be successful in developed countries organic products are mostly expensive and there are certain regulations which must be and these products must contain organic label in poultry or livestock farming for any agricultural product to be termed organic this means that the livestock or poultry producer must use cultural biological or mechanical process and he must employ ecological principles such as natural resources conservation and recycling of resources and this must be in line with the national organic program in poultry or livestock for you to sell organic eggs or poultry meat the bears must be fed and managed organically from the second day after hatching all agricultural components of the feed which includes the ration and the supplements must be 100 percent organic and all the poultry must have access to outdoors that means they are not in the cage 247 then organic poultry producers must establish preventive livestock health management practices medical treatment cannot be used or of growth hormones antibiotics genetics genetics engineering and animal cloning is strictly prohibited this is the standard for developed countries like the US or the UK. This implies that being a livestock farmer, practicing organic farming, feeding and drugs administration must be pure organic products. Non-synthetic substances that are natural such as oyster shells, calcium carbonate or fish meal can be used. The only feed additives and supplements known to be synthetic that may be used is DL methionine at a certain level per ton of feed. Looking at what I have discussed so far, you will then discover that in meeting international standard, Nigeria's system of organic farming is far from behind. Organic feed is not just getting the feed material from your regular store. Feed material such as maize, soya, GNC, wheat, rice bran and others must be from organic farm and must not contain any form of inorganic traces or fertilizers. Because Nigerian farmers only inculcate the use of herbs from its environment and some herbal product to raise his poultry beds, I will term it as semi-organic and it is so supposed to be used as preventive rather than curative. To put it in simple terms, organic farming is the raising of birds from day old till maturity without any use of synthetic antibodies, chemical or synthetic vaccines or drugs to boost birds immunity or growth booster. It is very difficult to go into full organic farming in Nigeria as the market is not there and no known agency to effectively monitor or control organic system farming. For the purpose of this video and in Nigeria system I will refer to our system as organic system even if it is not full organic practice at this point I want to discuss certain factors that do affect our organic farming system what you should do first before starting organic farming in poultry or boiler production while your best are still sick even when you apply organic products as growth promoters and antibiotics for curative when you should use organic substance and you will see results signs that your best have developed immunity during the application period. The fifth one is that you should please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon to get future updates when I upload a new video. Please also give me a thumb up to encourage me to do more in regards to full organic farming as it helps to reduce cost of production and gives huge profit with little effort. Also share among your friends and drop your questions in the comment section. Please do this so that we can reach a larger audience and to help me grow my channel. God bless you. Firstly, if you want to start organic bread production, 
option to see effective results you must cross all the t's and dot all the i's you have to make all your ingredients readily available in large quantities from start to finish and you must start from day old this will enable your best to build a kind of active immune defense system by themselves without vaccines and drugs and also to build a healthy gut from onset as the gut is the vital organ where nutrient digestion and absorption take place i want to stress it that when the gut is compromised at early stage your best will suffer and it will affect the farmer you have to build this gut from day old because it contains mainly bacteria fungi protozoa and viruses all these are friendly organisms in the git that is gastrointestinal tract the git of a boiler is colonized by an estimated 600 to 800 species of bacteria so developing them will thus fight incoming microbes secondly i always advise that avoid conflicting medications that is don't mix herbal stroke organic with synthetic after administering antibiotic drugs and vaccines and they discover that they are not seeing results when boilers are sick they will switch to herbal or organic my beloved you are complicating issues it is either you stick to conventional use of drugs and vaccines or you use your your herbal stroke organic drugs combining the two will yield very little or no known results and it could cost you a lot one advice i will tell you is that organic stroke herbal use in boiler poultry farming is best used as preventive rather than curative before i give the last and important point on when to know your beds have developed active immunity during the period of herbal or organic medication please use three seconds to click the subscribe button and the bell icon thanks i love you now from my experience in 2013 while i was in just plateau state nigeria then i did my first organic boiler production for fear of the unknown i started with 50 beds i didn't give them vaccine be it lasota or gomboro i did not administer any vaccine i did not give them even antibiotics drugs the regular antibiotics drugs that they sell i did not administer any so i raised them till maturity at six weeks and at the end of it i had no mortality i increased it to 100 with same procedure and i lost zero beds then the third one i raised was 200 boilers and this is the maximum i have raised using organic from day old this is far back as 2013 for your information i lost two beds from those 200 i carried and this was as a result of me mistakenly stepping on them because the space was very small and that they were just two days old then then my observation and how i came to conclude that the bears have developed full immunity was that i noticed that they are very smart and their eyes are very sharp and healthy then another thing i noticed was that their their feet or um, the chunks of the boilers are yellowish on the norm they are supposed to be whitish in color then one last thing is that the carcass the meat after slaughtering it tastes just like the local chicken or the free range chicken it tastes very delicious conclusively before you go organic try it from day old with small set of beds maybe 10 30 or 50 that you know you can manage try them from day old and administer your herbal or organic substance to them and administering the organic substance is not just giving them today then before you give them again is when you notice that they are sick no it has to be continuous process you can give them for the first one week they need it this is to to build the girl to fight against germs and other uh, microorganisms that could cause harm to them then thereafter you can increase the period of administration so it is rather more of preventive than curative thank you for staying till the end thanks for subscribing thanks for your like thanks to all my new and old subscribers see you in my next video peace out